Tinubu is outside the country. Why well, I do not know because I have not called him for some time. According to Fashola, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. The Federal Minister of Works and Housing of Nigeria, Bato Indiraji Fashola, has come out to confirm the president, that the president-elect, Bola Metorimbo, is still outside the country and he does not know where exactly where because he has not called him. He then went ahead to retract his statement, adding that he lied that he spoke to Tunubu just last week. In his own words, as seen on Tunubu's television tonight, he said, and I quote, Mr. Tunubu is outside the country, specifically where I do not know because I have not called him since we finished our work. No, I lied. I spoke to Tunubu about a week ago, and he is in France. He is all right since 2002. When he hurts his back, almost every time he has traveled, the position has said he has died. But then he still comes back alive and he will be back soon. I believe he has taken some time out. He needs it. He ran the freshest campaign and his promise was the most contested. After the promise, he went on making peace with all those who were unsuccessful against him. He ran this marathon like a sprint and I think he deserves to rest. See, eh? Had it been he's resting and people were still seeing pictures of him or what he's doing, believe me, I would not have spoken. In fact, I was one of those that said, uh-uh, the man even deserved to rest. In fact, I said, every member, every presidential candidate, I mean, so deserves to sit down like this and be taken care of. It's no easy. Running campaigns back to back, going from one state to another. You are just, you know, for some people, they will go to these states and from this state, they have gone to another state. From other state, that is how they do. They deserve their rest. These people, they are human beings. But where I fault them is, why is this man? Why are they as in hiding him? That is the what. That's what I'm going to call it. Why are they hiding him? Why are they, you know, keeping him away from the public? This is exactly what Nigerians saw under this present administration, and Nigerians are not comfortable with this idea. We do not need somebody who is going to be present but absent. Somebody who he would need an ROFI to call him and inform him, oh, the president, they said they'll kidnap you. Yes, now. During that time, there was a threat on the presidency. Him no know until then, call him for phone, tell him. We don't need that kind of a person. We need somebody who is present and present. Not he, I, well, you know, he's present, but you need to be telling him things. We need somebody who, you know, because he's present, he's active. There are things that are going to be going on as in fast. The work could they go well. Okay, if you enter on each other, they will say he's in Japan or China to buy shoes. Nigeria, why? Many countries are taking us as a laughing stock. Uh, not be today, oh, when she knew. Then old age is affecting a bit more than him to think that he can win in court after Enek has declared the win. I don't understand. We did talk about it, you know, you're talking about. We are not surprised that you lied. It is your stock and trade. We still remember how he discovered the camera at Lekki Togate after the killings. Okay. Fashola knows what he's doing. He was trying to cover up for his criminal master. Tomorrow you will hear Fashola talk. I assure you that so many fake news has been posted here by Igbo gangs, Igbos with their propaganda. Fake news. Lies, political bigotry, religious war, terrorist act, IPOB and ESN agenda, manipulating, kidnapping, killing innocent people, jealousy, armed robbery, and more and more. Anybody who believes this news is a fool, I have gone through lies and fake news here several times. That's so now they say Buhari was cloned. Had they done there and buried the Mecca propaganda? I don't understand. So this news now is fake. <laughs> okay, no wahala. Okay, the camera coder detector is at it again. This is uh, Fagbe Migun or Fagbe Sokale or what do you call yourself? Go and trace a history. <laughs> Go and do the case of history, you, you are being irrational. Fashion never retracted his statement in the said interview. We all watched the interview. Why do these online media like to twist statements to ally with their own warped view? I'm telling you, okay, that is why this person is coming out to say they twist them. Why? See, we don't even have where we can even get raw news, as in undiluted news. News where we say they never dilute they never fresh one will be say hot and fresh and you know very very juicy. Where we go feel get them for this country? Hmm. Now wow. 
Nigeria is in trouble. A selected president about to be sworn in and you should be conversating almost every day. That is it. For those who are saying, what is his business? Oga, his business is now a business. So far, he's the president-elect. If he's not going to be present, then he should tell us. And then we will face, focus the energy on something else. If there is anyone at all that faced chief opposition in the last campaign, it is none other than Jagaban. He was molested, yelled at, hand shaking, knee shaking, wee wee for body, now insinuating that he has been hospitalized or even dead. How on earth do children of perdition think like this? The man deserves his privacy. Sometimes, especially after the first battle he won convincingly, whoever is not happy with the man as president should relocate from Nigeria. Nigeria will be great. I want to tell us that it is not a matter of, this one is not a matter of, eh, oh, this one happened, that one happened. It is not that one. It is not that one. It's not a matter of um, the festive opposition ca campaign. Is there any presidential candidate that did not festive campaign? He was the one that was even making making life un unbearable for others by coming out to always abuse them. And he is saying anybody that does not like that he deserves his privacy. If you know you want to, des you want your privacy, then you don't come out to run for presidency. Don't even come out to run for local government or even council because your privacy will be taken away from you. Your privacy will be taken away from you. There is nothing like privacy. If you want to enjoy your solitude, you don't have to come out to run for any position at all because that's the position where you run for. Go take away your solitude from you. And that is the truth. Okay, Nigeria is clearly a banana republic just from the way APC is treating the country. Who does not want to know as president should go out of his country like what Bodhi would want to do and come back in 2027? Not be by force to stay at where the man Tunub is governing now. Forget about yes, daddy. Thank you, daddy, and religious woman. He can never become president of this great nation. He can never. Anybody carry religious and terrible sentiments has nowhere to go. What he did in Anambra will never work in this great nation. Not only you the talk, share. This is your own opinion. No problem. This is another member of the criminal gang controlling the terrorist organization, APC, who believe this, that he just, that he does not know where Beatrice's whereabouts is because he has not caught him. I'm telling you. And people are leaving this to jump over it to say what I don't know. They are dealers and no leader. May the Almighty Allah continue to deal with them as he the Almighty Allah is. You don't reach like this now. You don't reach me then they tell these people, say, may God, if then they do what you no good, may God, they, they use the hand, they reward them. Sincerely, it is so, it is so, so unfair, if you ask me. We are complaining. This was almost the same thing we are complaining about this administration. And this is why a lot of people, for people who are saying people hate Sunembo, why would they hate him? Some of them, some of them have not even met him before, for once. It is because of this thing that we are seeing or have seen, we are still seeing the effect of having someone who is not totally present. You did, but you know did. Ha. Now, wow. Well, right on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.